Hi guys, this is Miss Yaya here, back on the Missy Rich scene with another episode of My Two Cents and a Sip. On this episode, guys, I will be doing, of course, an advice question from our cup. I don't give a sip. And also, I'll be giving a movie review today. So it's episode three, and you're going to get an advice question and a movie review. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to choose from my cup. I don't give a sip. And, of course, you know how this goes. This is episode three, so we are going to choose a question, an answer, advice, anything here from our cup. And I'm going to try my best to answer it. All right, and we're going to be choosing... Ooh, I don't know what it's going to be. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. And it reads, What would you do if your teen daughter told you she was pregnant? Okay. So, now, my advice and answer on this may be a little bit different. My daughter is only four years old, so I'm so glad I don't have to deal with that and I'm not close to that right now, but I am a sister of a mother that um, had a daughter that told her as a teen that she was pregnant. So I'm going to answer this like if as a mother, I honestly don't know what I would do. I don't know if I would be scared or nervous or just mad or upset but at the end of the day once that teen comes to you and tell you they are pregnant the damage is done so now we have to decide what we're going to do going forward so i mean as far as being mad or yelling at the teen um your teen daughter i don't think you should I mean and even if you do I mean you're gonna get over it eventually you know it's nine months so you will eventually get over it I think you know with my mother it was a tough situation but you know she's loving and of course my mother had me as a teen so it was something that my Nana had to deal with and I think in a lot of families that it's a lot of generations like that. I know I broke that curse. <laughs> if it was a curse, I did break that. I know back in the day a lot of a lot of girls had their children at younger ages. So I know now in today's world, I know a lot of my friends, we did wait later on into our 20s um, and maybe even 30s to start having our children. But that is a cycle that, you know, it's up to you. And to those teen mothers out there that did it, worked their jobs, raised their kids, and their kids have grown up to be extraordinary, educated, um, shout out to you. I also think the best way to deal with, you know, a teen daughter coming to you, letting you know that she's, you know, pregnant, is to just give her the best advice that you can as a mother, you know, as far as health things, what she need to do now, how she needs to get more responsible now. It's going to be a lot of changes that comes with that teen daughter letting you know that she's pregnant. Um, and even if you have a teen son, uh, just because the, you know, the teen son is not having the child, you're not looking at the you know the belly grow in your house um, you still need to let your teen son know what's going to happen now and the responsibilities that he needs to go through you know in order to take care of that child that's coming in so you know that that's my advice on it um, if any of you have your own advice on that question, again, that question is, what would you do if your teen daughter told you she was pregnant? If anybody else have different advice out there, questions or opinions on that topic of your teen daughter coming to you, um, please leave it in the comments below. Please subscribe. MRS Entertainment by Miss Yaya. Uh, you can also subscribe by clicking on the i 
fall eyelash at the end of the video you can subscribe that way that way you get the updates on the new videos that's coming out um, again I have so many questions in here and I believe it's gonna be a lot of videos I'm gonna go ahead and take my sip cuz that question was a mouthful Our movie review will be of the movie that just hit Netflix about two weeks ago entitled Napoli Ever After and that is starring Sanai Lathan, Lynn Whitfield, Lyric Bent, and so many other great actors will be in this movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, I don't want to give you any spoilers, but we will be reviewing that movie. Okay, Napoli Ever After is a movie directed by, if I'm saying it correctly, it is... Haifa Al Mansour. Okay, and it's a screenplay by Adam Brooks, and the producer is Holly Berry and Mark E. Platt. So that's a little bit about how the movie came about. Uh, just a little summary on it. The main character is Sanai Lathan. The name of the character is Violet Jones. And she is a character uh, that has a great life, a great job, always beautiful, always in control, a doctor as a boyfriend. And after an accident with the hairdresser or at the hairdresser, things start to change in her life. And she starts realizing that, hey, she is not her hair. And... It goes from there and again I don't want to give you too much to spoil the movie for some that have not seen it but it is available on Netflix and you guys should definitely check it out I've heard great reviews about this movie you can check out the trailer of the movie and Netflix on YouTube and I'll probably put that in a little pit video above where you can check out the Netflix or it may be in the end screen at the end of the video it'll be uh, directing you to check out the trailer of the, the movie so you can just see for those of you that don't have Netflix go over a friend's house or you know Netflix is not expensive at all you can do the free trial watch the movie and cancel if you need to <laughs> but I love Netflix and again the movie review is Napoli ever after if you also have questions or comments about the movie review Napoli Ever After, which again is on Netflix. If you have any questions or comments about that, um, that you want to leave without spoiling it right now. I know it's been a couple weeks, but a lot of people don't have Netflix. So um, just give them a chance to go check that out. But if you have comments or questions on that, make sure you leave that in the comments below. And yes, guys, I will see you in the next video. We are done with video three. <laughs> see you in the next one.